Hi kids. Today we're going to be working on a um, cubist style still life painting. <laughs> so what you're going to need for this is your piece of watercolor paper and then something to add color. You can use your watercolors or the oil pastels that are in your bag or you can use acrylic paint. It doesn't matter. Just something to add color. You're also going to need a pencil and a ruler. And if you're using paint, then you'll want to grab a jar of water and a paintbrush and probably a rag to clean your brush off on. So pause the video and get what you're, what you're going to need. And then we will start with our still life. Okay, we're going to talk about this painting right here. I know y'all can hear my dog. He has been going crazy all morning. I can't calm him down, so just bear with me on that deal. The neighbor's doing some work in the backyard, and he's um, going a little nuts over that. So, we'll just ignore Mr. Bossy Pants and move on. So, this is a painting by um, a cubist artist named Roy Lichtenstein. Now, Cubism is an interesting form of art. It was an interesting um, period of time. It started, the movement started around World War II and moved on into the 60s. It was basically where they took something round, like a lemon or a water pitcher or grapes, and they flattened it. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to take some round objects and we are going to flatten them on our paper. Also, they added these very interesting lines on here. There's some awesome line work done on this still life painting. So we're going to be adding some lines. We're going to be adding color. Um, I think this is going to be a really interesting um, piece when we are finished with it. So we're going to start by talking about round things. Usually, when we do a still life in the studio, we talk about shading and we work on shading. There's not going to be any shading on this because in the cubist movement, it was flat. They didn't show dimension. They didn't show um, the roundness of objects. So we're going to do some things um, that are just flat. <laughs> so I'm going to start off here. I'm going to choose three things. You can choose um, three or five if you are feeling really ambitious, but let's work in odd numbers. So I'm going to choose three and I'm going to start by just sketching a bottle of paint just because that's what's here on my table. So just an ellipse at the top, lid comes down to an ellipse here. Ellipse at the bottom. Then of course erase the lines you don't need. If I get to go in too fast, please pause the video. <laughs> okay. So here's my bottle of paint. Now I'm going to kind of overlap a little bit. Um, and I'm going to draw a lemon. I don't know why. It's what's in the Liechtenstein painting. Maybe that's what's got me inspired to paint a lemon. Breaking it down into basic shapes. Going to erase the lines I don't need. A little bit rounder. Okay. And then I'm going to do um, a jar of water because that's what's on my table right here. Okay, got them on here. Now, once this part is done, there's a couple of ways we can darken these lines. You can go back over it with your pencil and really darken them in, or you can grab your Sharpie marker and go over it with a Sharpie. I'm just gonna use my pencil 
to darken these lines a little bit. And then I can fix any <laughs> mistakes there. Okay, there's my still life drawing. Now these can be anything that you want to draw. Um, you don't have to do the lemon and the paint bottle and the jar water. It can be whatever you want that to be. But that's just a really simple still life drawing. Now to turn this into more of a cubist looking um, painting, I'm gonna go grab my ruler and just do some lines. Now, this is abstract, so don't get hung up on the lines going on top of things. It's not a background, like where you would draw and skip over and draw again. We're gonna go right straight through those things. So just a few lines back and forth across your paper. Now over here, I still want to divide this up even though it's just a big blank part of the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide it even though it's not going through the still life drawing. And I'm going to, let's see, divide this over here. 